Hi, it's Bernadette. I don't have my voice yet. It's about seven o'clock in the morning and today is the first day of my wear test for the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. All I've got on my skin is this Acne.org Benzoyl Peroxide Shiseido Benefiance Eye Cream Lancome Regenerate Lift Multi Action Moisturizer with Sunscreen. Today I'm starting out with the Benefit Professional Primer. I'll probably use other primers throughout this, but most of my makeup is not going to change. Everything that I use will be listed in my description. You've inadvertently got a wear test on all of those things too. Today I'm going to start with a brush. I might switch to a beauty blender on another day. This sample, ooh, this is much thicker than the Flawless Lumia. Well, the coverage is definitely better so far already than the Flawless Lumiere. It still smells gross though, just like the Flawless Lumiere. It smells like schnapps with a little bit of gasoline. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if it's buildable. Armani Master Corrector Tarte Shape Tape. So here's my Just With Foundation and Tarte Shape Tape. And I, I definitely think that coverage is a little better than the Flawless Lumiere. So far, this is better. It's not a winner yet. Oh, I guess I could have used the banana powder from here for my under eyes. Maybe I'll do that next time. Let's go in with some courage first. <laughs> I love the names of Emily's colors. It's really great to read all the names of her shadows. You know, if you're having a hard time in life and you open up your makeup in the morning and you see all these great things, courage, joy, gratitude, kindness, you know, it's, it's really nice. Thanks, Emily. And I really like this color of blush that she's got, that she chose for this palette. I love this color, this terracotta color. It's something that I haven't used for a long time because I've just been using the same Lancome blush for years and I forgot how flattering this terracotta color is on me. So I was glad she included it in that palette because it made me remember, oh yeah, you're not you're not stuck on this pinky peach thing. Bite lip primer. And I know I said it before, but just in case this, this is your first video and you're like, oh, she's using that Eiffel eyeliner. I hate this eyeliner. I'm just using it because it's my no bite ear. I actually have two of these and I want to use it up so that I don't ever have to have it again. It's very difficult to work with. This is the Catrice setting spray in the All Nighter bottle. Cancels Booster XL. I'm going to use Geo Big. Bite Lip Pencil and Bite Lipstick and Pepper. And I love Bite Lip products. I think they're flipping awesome. Hmm. That lipstick doesn't really go with the eyeshadow like I thought it would. But I'm going to leave it on. It might not look so bad on camera, but it, here it looks kind of funny. I'll check in with you later to let you know how this foundation is holding up. Back in, it's about 10 hours later. Here's how my makeup wore. It's come off on my chin a bit. I'm not judging around my nose because my skin around my nose was really dry and flaky today. I like the Flawless Fusion better than the Flawless Lumiere. It's better on my pores so far. It, it only, it's only come off on my chin. The rest of the makeup is still on, and the wear down does not look bad at all. See you next time. Good morning. It's day two. I didn't put any benzoyl peroxide on. All I've got on is this Shiseido eye cream and this Lancome moisturizer. The only different thing that I'm going to do today is today I'm going to use this Tarte Poreless Primer. <laughs> Foundation and the Tarte Shape Tape, and I've only got the Tarte Shape Tape in my eye area. And this is way better coverage than the Flawless Lumiere. Okay, my lashes look flippin' amazing today. The Tarte Mystery Sample. <laughs> it's a lipstick. It just looks like a lip liner. <laughs> Here's my makeup for the day.
and I will catch you later. Hi. I put my makeup on at 9 o'clock this morning, and it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon now. I took a nap, so it's kind of rubbed off on the side of my face. It's coming off on my chin a little bit, but I'm leaving to go to a massage, so it's probably going to be totally wrecked by the time I get back home. But anyway, there's how it held up so far today from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's about 9 o'clock at night here, so my makeup's been on over 12 hours. You can see that it's come off quite a bit around my nose and a little bit on my chin. The wear down isn't too bad. You can see a little bit of oiliness on my cheeks and on my chin, but there's not a whole lot of patchiness, a little tiny bit of patchiness on my chin, but really the wear down was, was pretty nice for being on for over 12 hours. Hey, good morning. It's day three of my foundation wear test, foundation wear test for the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. All I've got on my face so far is this Shiseido eye cream that I've been wearing lately and the Lancome uh, moisturizer that I'm trying to use up. One of my free samples. What I'm doing differently today, I'm using the Professional, again, the Benefit Professional Primer, and I'm gonna put the foundation on with a beauty blender and probably do the same with my concealer. I was gonna do some natural light. It looks fine on the camera, but I can't see <laughs> what I'm doing. So there's a little bit of the ring light. Those two foundations, the Flawless Lumiere and this Flawless Fusion, are like two totally different entities. The Flawless Lumiere is very sheer coverage, and this one is a fuller coverage. And this one a lot has a more lasting power so far. And since it is a, a fuller coverage foundation, I'm going to go ahead and try it as concealer. I'm going to put a little bit of corrector on just because my eyes are awful. Let me see. This foundation applied really nicely with the sponge too. I was kind of surprised at that. I could use it as either with the sponge or with the brush. It's fine with both so far. We'll see how it lasts. I'm just going to use the beauty blusher to blend that out. Using foundation as concealer isn't something I usually make a habit of doing. I just know that a lot of people do that. They don't buy a separate concealer and they only use foundation. And I know that at a lot of makeup counters, like at Lancome and stuff, they will tell people to do that, to, to not use concealer and to just use foundation. They've done that to me many times. And I'm a person, I usually really need concealer. And every time I've gone to Lancome, and actually asked for concealer from their Lancome counter, every time they've asked me if I've tried just using foundation first and told me to try that. I wonder why they do that because <laughs> they're, they're decreasing their own sales. <laughs> so that's what got me trying that was the response at the Lancome counter. Basically, I'm trying that for you guys. I know that I am a concealer girl. <laughs> Even with the corrector, you can already see that I've got my dark circle there. But we'll see how it holds up. Doing it around my eyes is a good test to see how much it is setting into my wrinkles because, you know, all my wrinkles are right here, but other people have wrinkles in other places of their face. So being able to see how this works on the wrinkles is I think is important. There's my makeup for today, day three of my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Wear Test. There's my foundation, and I will check in with you later on. Bye-bye. I forgot to put setting spray. <laughs> so I am putting setting spray on. Okay, for real this time. Check in with you later. So now it's four o'clock in the afternoon, so it's about seven hours after putting my makeup on. I'll get closer so you can see here. It's only, I blew my nose a lot, and you can see 
it's come around, off around there and on my chin. But everywhere else, it looks pretty good. The coverage around my eyes isn't as good as if I wore concealer, but it's not setting into my fine lines and wrinkles like the Shape Tape does, so that's, that's kind of a win here on day three. We'll see what happens on the next day. Good morning. It's day four of my wear test for the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation. Today on my skin, I've got on this Derma E Vitamin C and Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. And this Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Moisturizer. And today, I'm the only things I'm doing different, I'm going to use the Tarte Poreless Primer. I liked the application with both the brush and the beauty blender. I've got another foundation brush, this It Cosmetics Mini brush, which is similar to their uh, larger foundation brushes. So I'm going to try it out with this one today just to do something a little bit different. I'll skip a lot of the makeup just to get to the part that you really want to see is how well the foundation wears. And this foundation is buildable too. It's nicely buildable. This is just the foundation and Tarte Shape Tape. And the Tarte Shape Tape is just around my eyes. But you can see the coverage there. Okay, so this is my makeup look for the day. And I'll check in with you later today, hopefully. It's nine hours later now. It's broken up a little bit around my chin. Don't judge around my nose here or the corners of my mouth. Those are very dry areas of my face today. But all in all, it for nine hours wear, I think it's held out pretty darn good. Good morning. It's the final day of my wear test for the F Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. All I've got on my skin is this Nia Serum Plus Moisturizer. And that's all I'm going to put on. Today I'm going to skip primer. I don't have any eye cream on today. All I've got on my skin literally is this Serum Plus Moisturizer. So I've got no primer, no concealer. It's all foundation. Here's the foundation with no primer and no concealer. I'm just going to put on some eyeshadow primer and do the rest of my makeup. Okay, so <laughs> there's my makeup for the day. Glasses back on. And I will check in with you tonight. This is the final night. It's finally over. But actually, so far, I actually like this foundation. I'll catch you later. So I put on my makeup about 7 o'clock this morning, and it's almost 4 o'clock now. It's been on for almost 8 hours. Now, I put no primer on today. And you can really see the difference without any primer. It doesn't look good around my eyes at all. It's it's still better than the Tarte Shape Tape around my eyes. It's come off around my nose and on my chin and on my forehead. You can see like where my oiliness has come through. It's, it's not a good one for no primer for me. I need primer with this foundation. And I thought it looked pretty good and I thought it was a good match to my skin color. But then today I went outside and my boyfriend says, starts laughing at me and told me that I look like a corpse and that uh, that my foundation was way too light. So to in here, it looks like a perfect match to my skin, but I guess I didn't, didn't see it. But outside he said, I look like a corpse and that I look like I'm painted. Would I spend $40 on a makeup that's good like this? It's better than average, it's not bad. Or would I spend $20 for one that I feel is slightly better for the Sephora foundation? I would pick the Sephora foundation over this Flawless Fusion foundation. 
but if I had a choice between the Flawless Lumiere and this, I would pick this. If I had a choice between my Clinique Powder Foundation and this, I would choose this. I guess it depends on what it's up against. It's not perfect. The one thing that I really do like about it is when I'm wearing primer, the wear down is nice. It's not a patchy wear down. That's good. It's not patchy or cakey as it's coming off throughout the day. When my oil starts coming through later in the day, it's not gross looking. It doesn't make the makeup fall apart. It's still intact. No primer is a bad thing with this one. I hope you enjoyed this video of this foundation wear test. I'd love some feedback. I've got no feedback on these. My foundation wear tests are my most watched videos, so I am curious to see what people think. If people have any pointers or anything like that, I'd, I'd love to hear it. Trying it over five days, I thought about doing that because people wear foundation totally different. One person wears it totally different than the next. Some people never use a primer. Some people never use a setting spray. Some people never use powder. Some people put it on with their fingers, the brush, beauty blender, sill sponge. There's so many different ways and different things and different primers that you can use that have a totally different effect. Just like with this today with no primer. I liked it all the other days with primer but with no primer it's bad news. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time. If you like this video, please like this video. And if you uh, want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.